ました。And welcome to my channel. This is Mirna, and、um, today I'm gonna show you guys how I built another Justice League house. This time it's Victor and Mir. So I placed a lot on the new crest area and in four. Park, along with other Justice League houses, it's sort of like Justice League community. So their previous house was kind of big and doesn't fit their personality. I think so. I'm gonna build it and I'm gonna build a new one and I'm gonna show you guys how I made that. Okay, so basically. A bit info about Daffy Fuse and why I put it in this video is because I intended this house to have like sort of like a warehouse repurposed look and realistically in architecture and interior the way to do that is called Daffy Fuse and it explains on the title really it's just. How you redevelop a project such as sawmill, cottages, and factories built in 19th century, and repurpose them into multiple residences, or anything really. You can make it into residence or commercial area. Depends on what you're looking for. And the great thing about、uh, this adaptive reuse thing is that. The renovated buildings actually retain parts of the original construction, thus retains their history and also the old charm, and also the old functional appeal of the structure. In this case, a warehouse. So,、um, related to the owner of the place, Victor and Barry,、um, the interior is gonna be filled with industrial chic. Furnitures and vibe. I'll make、um, open floor plans and、um, large windows and basically just basic minimalistic functional interiors. Okay. Anyway, about industrial style, it's actually really popular right now in commercial and residential. And. The reason I showed you guys the very big from Justice League, even though the movie is crap shit,、um, it has the essential characterization of Barry in the DC universe, and、um, his house represents himself as a scientist and as a young guy,、um, and he lives. In a, I don't know if it's a basement or a hidden basement or something. Anyway, I, I don't remember what you said. It hurts me physically to watch the movie, honestly. I mean, I love Zack Snyder, and I feel super sorry for him because of that old crap guy. <laughs> I don't even want to say his name. I don't even remember his name. The other guy, Josh Whedon. Oh my God. Okay, anyway, we're getting off track.、Uh, about industrial style is an aesthetic trend. I'm sorry, it's an aesthetic trend. It became popular in the late 2000, and the character characteristic of the materials are like weathered wood, concrete, and metallic lighting fixtures, or industrial lighting fixtures, or industrial theme everything. So about industrial style, it's actually a design trend has been for a while now. You can see it on commercials, like such as restaurants, and also on residentials. Usually in residential area, people tend to mix them with like Scandinavian style furniture. I guess to make.、Um, It more warm because industrial style likes to use 
use items that basically looks worn and old um, but the I I don't necessarily like it or I hate it um, I don't I'm just it's a nuisance for me but I think industrial style is interesting when it comes to the style to the end product because um, industrial style in 2019 or uh, the ones that's recent um, it combines between modern and vintage and I think that's really interesting composition wise uh, style wise um, functionally um, in this case because we use um, a repurposed warehouse um, we're gonna pretend like it's cheaper because it's Victor and Barry who lives here because they have budget imaginary budget without mother load <laughs> anyway um it's budget constraint um, and um, functionally the building that you reuse ha already have the existing function such as the fire uh, prevention and like water system running sewer system running and all that so it's much more cheaper and functionally it's easier you don't have to think much about it same goes for Victor. In Justice League, uh, we saw his apartment that he shared with his dad. Um, we saw a bit of that, and I think the wall has bricks, and there were a lot of books. But um, honestly, Victor's storyline in Justice League was butchered really bad, and I feel really sorry for Ray Fisher because. He would make such a great cyborg, honestly. Um, so with Victor added to the equation, he is part computer, he's a cyborg. Um, he was like that because of um, experiment lab experiment gone wrong. Um, actually, it depends on which era or comic you're reading you're reading um, in Doom Patrol it's a different kind of stuff it has his mother in added to the equation anyway uh, you should you guys should check Doom Patrol Doom Patrol out if you like cyborg and you want to see what um, he can do um, it's not Ray Fisher in there I don't know the actor's name, but he's quite fun. Um, in the show, he um, he likes to save people from petty crimes. He likes to connect to ATM, for example, on one scene. Um, there was gonna be a robbery um, in the ATM, and he hacked into the system, I guess, and tried to save the lady and ended up saving her even though that uh, he um, Victor in the patrol has some daddy issues anyway back to the interior um, even if we use industrial style for the facade and uh, as I said earlier industrial style it has more vintage vibe to it but we gotta keep it modern for cyborg for our guy cyborg um, because he's a computer he needs that high-tech things um, I mean I'm not I don't really understand computer that much to be honest with um, and it seems there are a lot of things that look cool as you may well know because there is a scientist career oh by the way in my sims world uh, Barry is the scientist one Meanwhile, Victor is an athlete. I think we owed him that because he wanted to be an athlete. And he would be a damn great one if it weren't for his injury. I mean, her, his injury made him 
a better person. But still, you gotta be got it that he didn't get to live that athlete life. And honestly, we should see more of Cyborg in the CEU and I absolutely hate Warner Brothers. I mean, Josh Whedon is uh, the enemy, of course, but I mean, the studio, Warner Brothers, oh my god, I mean, they want to see uh, Marvel flourish. I mean, they are insecure with their branding and I I just personally, I, Marvel is not for me and DC is the, it's a better universe comic wise and you know, DC doesn't, it's not like um, emotionless like people say, it's because people don't understand about the complexity of the story, of the storyline and just making superheroes human and like Marvel who puts jokes every five seconds and it's not even funny oh my god Ugh. okay so the third floor that I'm currently doing is the sitting area more laid-back lousy lounge also can be used for outdoor activities such as barbecue and it's overlooking the street and also the back porch um, it's sort of like a rooftop area really and I would add like camping sites to camps um, for them to chill I mean now that the house looks finished the other side is done, the porch is done. I'm gonna add some little tidbits for personality because you know, since I told you, since pictures and LCD, you gotta have at least um, a basketball court and also observate the observatorium for Barry. And also, we gotta make sure that the stairs are connected. Um, it's essential to have the stairs not far away from each other. And as for ponds, I don't think it's necessary because there are a lot of trees already. It's pretty green, and the nature feels uh, is enough for me. Anyway, the next part is I'm not gonna do the complete interior in this video because it's gonna be way too long I'm gonna have um, the interior part separate but uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure the stairs are connected the floors are connected um, their rooms are set for um, this house because it's a pretty small area um, we're gonna have like, small rooms. There's not gonna be a master bedroom, unlike the one I did in Bruce's house um, in my first video. If you seen that, if you haven't seen that, go and check that out because that video is not like this one. It's just like a house tour. It's it's done. The um, Bruce uh, and Diana and the kids. It's house so um, back for this um, Victor and Mary's house since they're both pretty famous people you gotta make sure they have the security set and installed so therefore the back porch you gotta have fences and yeah I'm just marking on where the rooms would be and the trick is that because I put the windows for the facade and I didn't think about the interiors at first but I gotta make do otherwise I gotta screw up the facade and it's gonna look bad and, and actually when it comes to the interior you have to plan that shit out from the beginning otherwise you're gonna have issues like this See? The, are the stairs too small? Are the rooms too small? Do we need a storage area? And 
um, all those sort of issues are not set but luckily since this is the sims and not real life it's easier for me to add rooms next or in the future but right now I'm gonna add necessary things uh, the plan is for the first floor uh, actually the ground floor is not the uh, main floor the main floor is the second floor the second story um, it's gonna have an open plan because of the limited space so that means the living room kitchen and dining would be on the same floor which is the second floor or the main area meanwhile the basement n the ground level is sort of a basement uh, because it's more living area it's gonna have um, bedrooms two bedrooms one bathrooms and one lounge so you can see the house has started to look finished so we're gonna go a bit of a travel around the house and you guys can see what have what we've been doing for the past 17 minutes or so Enjoy! Bye!